Hi Blenderheads, Chris here. This is a quick look at depth of field in Blender EV. First let's look at Cycles as our reference. Cycles is a path tracer and the depth of field we get from Cycles is physically based and well great looking. Here I have a very simple scene with a plane on the bottom going far into the background, a monkey head above and some simple lights. This is what it looks like without any depth of field. Everything is sharp. And when I activate depth of field at a very extreme level to really show the effect, this is what we get. Now I can move the monkey on the Y axis all the way to the front, very blurry, to the focus distance, nice and sharp, and to the back, completely blurry again. Everything looks good. A critical area is actually this one here. The monkey is in the foreground and blurry, and the in-focus area of the ground plane shines through the blurry parts. Very nice and exactly what we expect and what we would get from a fast expensive photo lens. Let's look at depth of field in EV now. Here again the scene without any depth of field. In EV we have to enable depth of field in the render tab. And I'd also like to point out that the camera settings of cycles and EV are separate. I've already set this up here with an extreme f-stop value to get extreme foreground and background blur as well. I move the monkey again all the way in the front, nice and blurry, and we can actually see the bokeh effect right here. At the focus distance of the camera everything is sharp, all the way in the back also nice and blurry. But when I move the monkey to this critical area here again, we can see that something is not quite right. The, let's say, surface of the monkey is blurred the way it should be at that distance. But the edges of the monkey are only blurry in certain areas and very sharp in others. What happens is, Eevee renders the scene and then blurs the image according to the camera's depth of field settings. When we take a closer look, we notice that the chin of the monkey is blurry because everything in the final 2D image is blurry in that location. Also the back of the head. But in the location of the ears, the surrounding geometry has to be in focus, so we get sharp edges here. If you're familiar with the defocus node in Blender's compositor, this is basically the same result. Let me demonstrate. I switch off depth of field in the render settings. We have a completely sharp image now and I render it out quick. Now in the compositor we pipe the image into the defocus node, plug the depth info into the C input, turn on use C buffer and set f-stop to 1. Here in the viewer we can see a very similar effect to what we saw before. Blurry foreground, blurry background, a blurred monkey surface but sharp edges where the blurry monkey is on the sharp background. Let's compare the result of EV on the left with the defocus node on the right. Basically looks the same. Except maybe one thing. EV does this in real time, super fast. While the compositor is, sadly, very slow. Let's summarize. In EV we get a fast but fake depth of field that is only a masked blur effect and not physically correct like cycles. Here I have a detailed comparison of the crucial difference for you. It will be very interesting to see how depth of field changes and improves in EV in the future. Please like, comment and subscribe to see more Blender videos like this one. Have a great day, see you next time.